can be clean, then this then will happen in your life. Then went he down and did himself, tell me, seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh came again. Are you seeing the house? And his flesh came again. Like unto the flesh of a little child. And he was clean. And he was clean. And you are clean. And you are healed. Naaman was an incredible leper. Sick. Ashamed. Despised. Depressed. Unhappy, he needed total recovery. He did not waste away in idle inaction. He took the journey after he heard. He acted on the information. He sought divine remedy. He corrected his wrong attitude, his wrong thinking, and eventually he obeyed and he had total recovery. Tell the person by your side, that's my story. I have it tonight. I have it tonight. Remedy, recovery, total healing, deliverance has come upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. Tonight I'm talking to you on the spiritual dynamics of total recovery. The spiritual dynamics of total recovery they say there's dynamics in this there is a kind of kinetics in this there is some kind of movement you know this happens that happens and that happens dynamics in your life tonight and it's going to happen number one the promise of total recovery from all sicknesses the promise of total recovery from all sicknesses Point number two, the pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. The pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. The energy you have lost. Thank God you're going to regain it today. Something new is coming tonight. Life is coming tonight. Power is coming tonight. The pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. Number three, the prayer. Somebody help me shout the prayer. Are you there? I said shout the prayer. prayer. The prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. Every supplicant. That is somebody making supplication. Somebody making petition. Somebody saying, I will not live here today until this miracle happens. Are you hearing me? I will not live here today until this recovery has taken place. Thank God it will not be long. It will come upon your life. The prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. Number one, the promise. God has given you a promise. I said, God has given you a promise of total recovery from all sicknesses. Look at those sicknesses tonight. You will not see them anymore after this meeting. Exodus, Exodus, Exodus chapter 15. I'm reading from verse 26. And said, if thou wilt diligently hack into the voice of the Lord your God. Somebody there tonight is hearing the voice of God. And will do that which is right in his sight. And will give ear to his commandment. And keep all the statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee which are brought upon the Egyptians. Every form of sickness you hear about anybody in the world in Egypt will not come upon you. Any sickness there, ask yourself, is there an Egyptian somewhere there that has this? If you discover 
It is belonging to the Egyptian. You are not an Egyptian. You are the Israel of God. You see, pack your load and go. You didn't say it. You just said the amen. Pack your load and go. And then God said in verse in the latter part there, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Do you see present tense two times there? I am, I am, I am. And that great I am that I am has not changed. And he said that healeth thee. That means tonight is going to happen. I said it's going to happen. Psalm 103, Psalm 103. I'm reading from verse 1. Psalm 103. And we're reading from verse 1. Here it tells us, Psalm 103. Reading from verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Others have been praising the Lord. It's now your turn. You'll praise the Lord. Others have been singing. It's now your turn. You will sing. Others have been giving testimony. Now it's your turn. You will give testimony. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth? How many iniquities? Who forgiveth? How many iniquities? All thine iniquities, all thine iniquities. Where is the person the Lord is talking to? You. All those uh, condemnations, everything will vanish away tonight. And then look at the next part there. Who healeth? Tell me. Who healeth? Make it personal now. Who healeth? All my diseases, look at verse 4, who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Ah, you're free. I said you're free. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth. Whose mouth? I said whose mouth? Who satisfies thy mouth with good things? Ah, evil will pass you by. Yokes will pass you by. Causes will pass you by. Calamity will pass you by. All those powers of darkness, as they came, they will go tonight. So that Thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Your youth renewed like the eagles. I'm looking at Jeremiah chapter 33. Jeremiah chapter 33. I'm reading from verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. Any answer tonight? Any miracle tonight? Any healing tonight? Any provision from heaven tonight? Call upon me, call unto me, and I will answer thee and show thee. And show thee. And show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. You will see what you have never seen. You will experience what you have never experienced. Ah, uh, you have been saying, I'm a Christian, I'm born again, I got this, I got this. Pastor, I gave testimony in my district. Did they tell you? I gave testimony such and such a time. That one, praise the Lord for that one. That one is initial testimony. Something is coming on top. I said something is coming on top. It will show you things you have never known. Look at verse 6. Look at verse 6. Behold, I will bring it health and kill. I will kill them. On my right hand side, I will kill them. In front of me there, I will kill them. I will kill them. 
They are on top. I will cure them. You are cured tonight. You are healed tonight. And then look at this, look at this. And I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Every commotion in your life, everything will pass away. Confusion in your life, everything will pass away. Tonight, you recover. I recover. I recover. I recover. Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Past tense or present tense. Yesterday or today. In the morning or this night, this hour. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to preach deliverance to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogues were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, read it yourself. Read it for yourself, personally. This day, the day of recovery, this day, the day of answered prayer, this day, the day of miracle, this day, this day is this scripture fulfilled where? Put your hand there, put your hand there. Fulfilled where? Tonight is your night. Point number two now, the pursuit somebody there tonight will pursue. Yeah. You will catch what you are looking for. Yeah. You will get what you are expecting. Yeah. The pursuit of total recovery of lost strength. Lost strength. If you are, if you are tired now, when you recover tonight, you will be strong. If you are weak now, when you recover tonight, that mighty dynamite from heaven will come inside your body. Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. I'm reading from verse 28. As thou not known, you will know. As thou not heard, you will hear. That the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, Faintest not, neither is weary. There is no such in of his understanding. He gives, he gives, he gives. The doors of heaven are opened upon you, the windows of heaven are opened upon you. He's giving you something right now. Something is coming upon your life right now. Power is entering your life right now. He giveth power to the faith. And to them that have no might, he gives us strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But, but, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Renewal. I say renewal. You are renewed tonight. All those dead cells inside your body will come alive. The cells are dead in the eyes. That's why you are getting blind and you cannot see very well. Those cells will come alive tonight in Jesus' name. 
When I sit down, I cannot stand up. When I stand up, I find it difficult to sit down. There's pain at the back. There's pain in the throat. There's pain in the head. Something is moving here. Something is moving there. That thing is swept away. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I rejoice with you tonight. Your strength is renewed. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. No mountain will hinder your progress. You've stayed too long in the valley and they tied you down there and you've been crying there. Doing some merry go round there. I don't know what to do again. There is nothing to do tonight as settle the whole matter. They shall mount up. I will mount up. I said, I will mount up. You will mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall run and not be weary. You will test it tonight when we go out after the meeting. Because before, if you walk a few, a few steps, you're looking for something to hold and sit down. And then you get up and walk a few steps again. And you're looking for something. And it's like, you know, your eyes are turning. I'm going to fall. Hold me, hold me. You will hold other people tonight. Tonight, you will run. I said, tonight, you will run. All those debilitating things and the weakness things in your life, they are swept away tonight in Jesus' name. And they shall walk and sh they shall not fade. They shall walk and they shall not fade. Look at Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah chapter 35. It says, strengthen ye the weak hands. Confirm the feeble knees. And say to them that of your fearful heart, be strong. What is heaven saying to you? What's the almighty God saying to you? What Jesus, your healer, your deliverer, your redeemer, was he saying to you? What are the angels of God saying to you? What is heaven declaring to you tonight? Be strong. You are going to be strong. Weakness will vanish away. Pains will vanish away. Impossibilities will vanish away. Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come. You didn't hear that one. Your God will come. With vengeance, even God, with a recompense. And he will come and save you. He will come and deliver you. He will come and set you free. He will come and break your yoke. He will come and convert your soul. Then, look at verse 5. The eyes of the blind shall be open. Ah, tonight, tonight, if your eyes are dim, what happened to you? You have some bruises. I didn't see the pitch. I was just walking and I fell. That dimness of sight will vanish away tonight. You will see. Your eyes will be bright. It says, the eyes of the blind shall be opened. The ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then, verse 6, then, then shall the lame man leap as an heart. And the tongue of the dumb shall sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in your desert. The parched ground shall become a pool. The thirsty land springs of water. In the habitation of dragons, where each lay shall the grass with reeds shall be grass with reeds and rushes. 
and an highway shall be there and a way and it shall be called the way of holiness the unclean shall not pass over it but it shall be for those the way fearing men no fools shall not err therein no lion shall be there no lion will be your way anymore no any ravenous beast shall go up thereon it shall not come it shall not be found there but the redeemed shall walk there and the ransomed of the lord shall return and come to zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads they shall obtain joy they shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sign shall flee away and sorrow and sign shall flee away it's happening there tonight i said it's happening there tonight i say chapter 41 verse 10 i say chapter 41 I'm reading there from verse 10. It tells us in verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. The Savior says, I am with thee. The Deliverer says, I am with thee. The Healer says, I am with thee. The Provider says, I am with thee. Miracle has come. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed and angry against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive for thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and find and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing. And as a sin of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand. Saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, that one Jacob and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Says the Lord and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, Behold, I will make thee a sharp new threshing instrument, having teeth. And thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shalt make the, the hills a sharp. Thou shalt find them, and the wind will carry them away. All your problems, the wind will carry them away. All your mountains, the wind will carry them away. All your distress, the wind will carry them away. Joblessness, the wind will carry them away. Poverty, the wind will carry them away. It says, thou shalt find them. And the wind will carry them away. And the one wind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. Somebody there tonight, thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. My daughter there tonight, thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. My son there tonight, thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. And shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Where is your amen? Isaiah chapter 52. Isaiah chapter 52. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 1. Awake. Awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garment, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth, from tonight, like the day now, from henceforth, there shall no more come 
he to me the uncircumcised and the unclean shake thyself from the dust they may lie down and cockroaches walking all over you insects crawling all over you and all the problems of the forest all the problems of the because we are lying down shake yourself from the dust arise and sit down O jerusalem lose thyself from the banks of thy neck O captive daughter of zion you are getting up today your strength is coming back today the power of the lord upon your life is coming back today Isaiah chapter 54. Isaiah chapter 54. I'm reading from verse 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent. Increase has come. Enlargement has come. Enlarge the place of thy tent. And let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not. Lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and I see shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited fear not are you there fear not for thou shalt not be ashamed Neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shall remember, and shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. Look at verse 17 there. Verse 17. Verse 17. Ah. Look at something for you here. God wrote this because of you. He put this now because of? I said because of? No weapon that is formed against this shall prosper. In your community, in your compound, in the village, on the road, in the market, on the chair you're sitting on, you eat, the water you drink, the situation you find yourself, anywhere you are, in the taxi, in the bus, on the road, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. In the dream, in the day, anywhere and everywhere, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Give me a good amen. Psalm 20, I'm reading from verse 1. Psalm 20, we're looking at verse 1. In Psalm 20, verse 1, The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings, and the Lord accept thy bond sacrifice. The Lord grant thee according to thine own heart, and fulfill, and fulfill, and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. Look at this one. Look at this one. Read it out yourself. You believe that? Say it again. Look at the person by your side and say to them. 
point to them and tell them it will happen to them. Now point back to yourself and say it for yourself. Tonight. I said tonight. Your night of recovery, I said tonight. The Lord shall fulfill all thy petition. It will happen in Jesus' name. That good thing that you lost is coming to you right now. Recovery. 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 I'm a possessor tonight. I'm an achiever tonight. I'm a conqueror tonight. I am well. I am healed. I am delivered. I am blessed. Point number three, the prayer. Point number three, the prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. The prayer for total recovery by every supplicant. How many people are going to be answered tonight? Everybody, everybody, everybody is coming your way. Psalm 65, Psalm 65, verse 2. O thou that hearest prayer, is getting ready for you now. It's getting ready for you now. Everything that comes out of your mouth tonight, O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Psalm 61. Psalm 61. I'm reading from verses 1 and 2. Psalm 61, verses 1 and 2. Hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Something higher, something greater, something better, something richer, something farther, to the top, to the top, to the top. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Mark, Mark chapter 9. In Mark chapter 9, reading from verse 22, Mark chapter 9, reading from verse 22, and all times it has cast him into the fire and into the waters and to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. If thou canst do anything, the man was, you know, of the old school. He didn't know that Jesus will do everything. But now I know, but now I know, but now I know. I know that in your life tonight, he will do everything. And Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, if thou canst believe, all things are possible. To him that believeth. That's why you came tonight. All you came tonight is just to believe. I came to believe. I said, I came to believe. I said, I came to believe. And as you believe, as you believe, all things are possible in your life in Jesus' name. Chapter 11, Mark chapter 11, verse 22. Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily, assuredly, truly, certainly, I say unto you that whosoever, I say unto you that whosoever, who is whosoever? Have you met him before? Whosoever, have you seen him before? Whosoever, I said, is he there tonight? 
Are you sure? Ah, tonight, problems have gone. Whosoever, look at this, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Where is your mountain tonight? In the sea. I said, where is your problem tonight? Where is that sickness tonight? Where is the joblessness tonight? That whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have, I will have, I will have, whatsoever I say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them. And what will happen? And ye shall have them. Tonight, God is going to answer everyone. Total recovery for everyone tonight. God always answers prayer. What kind of prayer? Fervent prayer. Fervent prayer. The one that stands up tonight and said, God, you gave me the promise and you talk out. And let the devil hear tonight that you've got the victory. Let the enemies hear tonight that you've got the victory. Fervent prayer is going to be answered. Faith and court prayer. Prayer that is anchored on faith. That says, I believe God. I have faith in God. That tonight, tonight is the night of my recovery. Faith and court prayer. Tonight, prevailing prayer. This one is not, come next time. Come next time. Ah, tonight, tonight. You will prevail in Jesus' name. Importunate prayer. The one that is knocking and keeps on knocking and keeps on knocking. And heaven says, who is that? And you say, it's me, child of God. I'm asking for this. You told me all my petitions will be answered. And I have a long list in my hand here. That's why I'm knocking. And you keep on talking. You keep on knocking. Importunate prayer. Thank God he has answered you tonight. Yeah. Undeniable prayer. Un I will not be denied. I will not be denied. Until he comes and makes me whole, I will not be denied. Let me go for the daybreakers. No, you cannot go. I will not let you go except to bless me on deniable prayer tonight. Heaven piercing prayer. That door in heaven must open. I said that door in heaven must open. Because the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force, heaven piercing prayer. Strength restoring prayer. That as you pray tonight, the weakness will drain away. By the time we say the final amen, you'll say, I feel strong. I can walk. I can jump. I can run. I have a testimony. It will be in your mouth. Strength restoring prayer. Life transforming prayer. That you know your life has been like this, like this. But tonight, the kind of prayer that will transform your life. Mountain moving prayer. This mountain must go. I said, this mountain must go. Darkness dispelling prayer. Any darkness in your way, any darkness in your sight, 
the prayer we pray tonight will dispel all those uh, areas of darkness in Jesus' name. Yoke breaking prayer. Yoke breaking prayer. They hang it on your neck. They hang it in your family. The curse, the yoke, the heavy load, the prayer we pray tonight. Get ready. I say get ready. It will break every yoke in your life in Jesus' name. Destiny changing prayer. Destiny changing prayer. No bad luck for anybody here tonight. No evil again for anybody here tonight. I'm hearing a voice that they're following after me. In the name of Jesus, get out. <laughs> Destiny changing prayer tonight is going to happen to you. Now, are you ready? Where are you? I said, where are you? Are you sitting down? I said, where are you? Very late, very late, I say unto you, that whosoever, whosoever is still in the house tonight, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, unto this mountain, talk now, unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which it says shall come to pass, I will have. I will have whatsoever I say. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever right now you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you have got them. You have got them. You have got them. Open your mouth and let heaven hear you. Let heaven hear you. Let heaven hear you. Tonight is the night of recovery. Tonight is the night of miracle. Tonight is the night of power. Tonight is the night of breaking yoke. Tonight is the night of salvation. Tonight is the night of strength. Tonight is the night of open heavens. Tonight, tonight, you have come, you have come, receive. You have come, be saved. You have come, be healed. You have come, be delivered. The brain tumor is going away. The brain tumor is going away. Receive that. You are healed. The pal is gone. Receive that. You are healed. What in bed at night, that is gone. Receive that. You are free. The noise in your ear, all that is healed. You're free. That shadow that follows after you, that shadow of the enemy is driven away. You're free. The pain as if you stepped on, on a nail, and therefore that sin refused to be healed. That's all. The saw is drying up right now. You are healed. You are walking and then somebody slapped you from the back. You look back, you couldn't see anybody. And since that time, you have had that terrible problem at that very place. That thing is canceled tonight. You are healed. They call your name. You answered. After that answer, it's like your life became disoriented. You're free tonight. You're free tonight. The Lord has set you free.
whosoever, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be cast into the sea. Shall not doubt in his heart, he shall have, he shall have whatsoever he says. You stepped on something and heat passed through to your body, through that leg. And since that time, you've been leaping. You're free. The Lord sets you free tonight. Free. Let that short leg grow out. You're free. Dimness of sight. Once it's getting to evening, you can't see anything, virtually anything. The dimness is cleared away. Partial blindness is cleared away. Now you are free. Now you are free. You have recovered your sight. Free. Healed. Delivered. The yoke is broken. The threats of the enemy taken away. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has answered your prayer. Say, I believe. The Lord has answered my prayer. You are healed? Yes. Just say, I'm healed. You are healed? Yes. You are delivered? Yes. You are set free? Yes. You are lifted up? Yes. You are promoted? Yes. Your enemy is conquered? Yes. Your prayer is answered? Yes. What is the whosoever? Whosoever, whosoever, tonight joy, tonight testimony, tonight overflowing blessing, Father in Jesus' name, we thank you for what you have done, we thank you for your love, we thank you for your power. We thank you for your faithfulness. I pray, Lord, everyone here without exception, receive your answer in Jesus' name. Salvation for every soul. Forgiveness for every soul. Renewal for every life. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Miracle for everyone. Receive in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you break every yoke in every life. Remove disease from everyone. And let your healing virtue flow through the body of everyone right now. In Jesus' name. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Receive the healing virtue of Christ. You are healed. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. Your yokes are broken. Barrenness cancelled. Incredible disease cancelled. And all those attacks and all those evil things taken away from your life in Jesus' name. Lord, showers of blessing for everyone. Showers of miracle for everyone. Showers of deliverance for everyone. Lord, confirm each in every life. To my right, miracle. In front of me, miracle. To the left, miracle. At the gallery is miracle. Lord, I pray the joy of the Lord will be the strength of everyone. 
Go back home with joy. Go back home with miracle. Go back home with total recovery. There's testimony in your mouth now. Joy in your soul. Laughter in your mouth. You go from victory unto victory. Lord, confirm it in every life. Thank you because I know you have answered. I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. My prayer is answered. Tell the one by your side, my prayer is answered. I got it. I got it. Anybody got it there? May be permanent in your life in Jesus' name. For this evening, thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us, O oh Lord, to worship at your feet. Heavenly Father, we pray that none of us that have come to worship at your feet will go back the same in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we pray as we open our mouth to worship, Holy Spirit of God, take control in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, oh Lord our God. How excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, oh Lord. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, how excellent. How excellent, oh Lord, how excellent is your name. is your name. Praise ye the Lord, from whom all blessings flows, from whom all blessings flows, from whom all blessings flows. Praise ye the Lord, from whom all blessings flows, 
praise him forevermore. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, from whom all blessings flows, from whom all blessings flows, praise ye the Lord. Praise him forevermore. Hallelujah. From whom all blessings flows, praise ye the Lord. From whom all blessings flows, praise him forevermore. I will pray. From whom all blessings flows, praise ye the Lord. From whom all blessings flows, praise ye forevermore. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, 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 our Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, worthy, worthy. Our Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. Jesus set me free, I cannot be bound. Jesus set me free, I cannot be bound. Jesus set me free, I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound, you cannot be bound. I cannot be bound, oh, Jesus set me free. Jesus set me free, I cannot be bound, I cannot be bound, you cannot be bound. Oh yes, Jesus set me free, Jesus set me free, I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. He sets me free. He sets me free. He broke the bounds of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. Oh, glory to God, he set me free. He set me free. He broke the bounds of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. Oh, glory to God, he set me free. He set me free. He set me free. He broke the bounds of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. Oh, glory to God, he set me free. 
He sets me free. He broke the bounds of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. Oh, glory to God. He sets me free that I may know him. That I may know him. Bye.